Jasmine, what do you think what is well-being? Uh, How you understand it? Okay, so far, what made me interested in understanding what is well-being is that my core belief that it's connected with health and what is health health behavior without understanding the scientific aspect and the psychological philosophical aspect of our existence okay. what do i think of well-being it's interconnected with everything that we do okay. our physical spiritual mental health they're all one so you actually need this type of understanding and theory behind it to actually be able to explain it in exactly. that way yes Okay, okay. And what this type of theory gives you to understand uh, this better? Different theories introduced by different professors here. And actually one of the things that helped me formulate a concept of well-being is the methods that I can employ to measure it with the health of the person and make it better and better the process of existence of a target population or myself and most importantly myself in the process because I have to be quite aware of how I feel towards the tools that I'm using and how effective it is in the process of measuring health and well-being behavior. And it's really important how to measure it, what's the type of question that goes into the process. And what's the theory behind it? Yes, you exactly. actually have the question. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> What's the theory behind it? That eudaimonic happiness is happiness with a purpose and it relates to the well-being of people. If we do exist without even having the smallest purpose, the smallest purpose, it doesn't have to be changing the world or doing like something that would transform the, the, the edge of humanity. And just one small purpose, one small step that would lead to um, a state of contentment and happiness mm -hmm. for me that's really that that string hits a chord that mm -hmm. leaves an impact in my understanding of well-being and how does it relate to having a purpose mm -hmm. so you you're like guiding yourself towards this uh, thinking process that mm -hmm. you actually do things what ha has a purpose for you so yes. this is something that it's really important behind it mm. and how to support people of having it is something that you can learn from here, I would say. In the psychology of happiness, your well-being is inseparable from other people's well-being mm. as well. So it's all about the topic. You, you choose, have chosen this type of like uh, speciality because you're so passionate about it. But why yes. to come to Estonia? Okay, <laughs> because it's not really uh, extremely crowded you have time to reflect you have time to study most uh, importantly why did I choose Tallinn University because of Dr. Alexander Pulver and his amazing resume the fact that he's a researcher he made a book called 20 years of reflections of on love yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but that just when I was researching looking at the resumes of the professors that work here and I was amazed this is exactly what I'm looking for. So we have a really small country but actually quite a variety of specialists yes. <laughs> dealing with this topic. Yeah. And and on top of it on, on top of all of this, the fact that it includes spiritual well being, physical well being, um, mental health is extremely important this is what well-being is all about mm -hmm. you cannot just take one aspect out and say oh it's just the physical aspect of things and then you're gonna be fine what we're learning here mm -hmm. is that you cannot give someone a medication without treating the, mm -hmm. the cause that that is making him ill or sick mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you will get this type of like a system from here of how to think differently from well-being at first you had this common knowledge and now you have already learned how many months you have been here, three? Yes. And you already know how to explain uh, differently yeah. what is well-being. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Oh, and actually one, one last thing, it made me understand that it's really important not to be dogmatic or think that I'm right because this is my uh, subjective opinion. I have to always test it and be open that mm. I could be wrong mm -hmm. and be open to change and be, be open to the fact that it could be um, not the best thing in the interest of the people or myself based on what I have learned so far, employ employing the tools that I have learned in this degree. Okay. So, yeah. So it's a great work with yourself.